Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about the brake lights as a signal. So when we brake, what happens at the back? Red light comes on at the back. What does it do? It's giving signals to the car behind. So this is what we are going to talk about in this video. Let's start the lesson. Okay, so let's talk about the brake lights as a signal. Firstly, drivers, as a driver, we think that indicators are the only signal we use when we are driving. So to go left and right, we use, we put the indicators on to go left or to go right. And we think that that's the only signal. So when we think of signaling, we think indicators. That's the only signal we think. But there are many signals we as a driver use on the road to help others, to warn others of our intention, of our action. There are many things we can do to help others by giving signals, by giving different signals. So it's not the indicator is the only signal we use. And in this video, I'd like to talk to you about the brake lights as a signal, because that is one of the most important thing or important signal we use on the road. Many times when we are learning, or as a driving instructor, many times we don't remind our learners that there is a signal when we are braking, when we are slowing down. It is important we teach our learners. And as a learner, it is important we know this so that when we drive, we use this as a signal. If you are learning and you need help on learning and passing the driving test, don't forget to take the advantage of our online course. The course gives everything a learner needs to learn to drive and to pass the driving test. It has everything a learner needs. I will leave a link on the description for you to have a look. Have a look and see and read. And if you like it, you could always join the course. So let's talk about the brake lights. So when we touch the brake, when we touch the brake, what happens at the back? red light comes on right minimum two red lights one on each end and then with the modern cars you have one on the top and there are other places as well but mainly two red lights one on each end comes on as red lights why so it gives the signals to the car behind it warns them that there is a problem and this is the reason why you are slowing down or there is a problem that you need to stop for or maybe there's a traffic light coming up and you'll have to stop over there so you are giving them a warning and you're giving them a signal but if you don't know as a driver as a learner that that the brake lights are signals what you are going to do you're just going to brake you're not going to help the car behind Remember, if we know that the brake lights are a signal, then we're going to use that as a signal to help others, especially cars behind. But if you don't know, but if you don't know, and if you don't have the knowledge in your mind that brake lights are signal, you're not going to use that because you don't know. You don't have the knowledge of it. So soon as there is a problem you need to deal with, or maybe a traffic light coming up, the first thing you're going to do, you're just going to brake hard to stop or to slow because you don't know there is a signal at the back when you break or even if you or even if you do know you just don't know how to use it you as a driver it is important it is your responsibility to help others on the road and one of the way we help others cars behind is by the brake lights so let me give you a few examples so you get say you're driving along okay and you see there's somebody over there crossing the road what's the first thing should come in your mind so you're driving along and there's over there somebody's crossing the road you know you'll have to slow down over there so what's the first thing should come in your mind number one it should be look at the mirror to see what's happening at the back because you've got a problem over there but you don't know if there's a problem over there because there could be a problem behind right so you looked somebody crossing you look at the back that's the first thing you do so you look at the back and see what's happening and you see there is a car very close to you, very close. So what are you going to do? Are you going to just brake? Or are you going to tell them there's a problem over there? And if you want to tell them, how are you going to tell them? Are you going to open the door and shout and tell them, look, my friend, back out because there's a problem. What are you going to do? Because you need to tell them, right? So somebody crossing, you look at the mirror, there's somebody very close to you. How do you give them a signal, tell them to back off a little or just make the gap bigger so when I'm braking, you don't go back of me? What do you do? How do you tell them? 
the way you do that is you off gas and you cover the brake. You cover the brake and you touch the brake. If you touch the brake, what happens at the back? A red light comes on. When the red light comes on, what are they going to do? They're going to start to brake. So you give them a warning. You give them a signal. And then what are you going to do? Then you're going to brake maybe harder to stop or to slow a little bit more. If you don't look at the mirror, or if you do, and there's a car behind, what you're doing is you're just covering the brake and you're braking hard. What do you think is going to happen? And most drivers, they do that. They just cover the brake and brake hard. Well, they don't even cover. They just off gas and brake. They brake hard. And what happens? They're not giving the car behind any warning, any help. They're not helping the car behind. And it's not all about they're coming back of you. It's all about, you know, give, helping them. Because you brake hard, they're braking hard as well suddenly. And, and you're not helping them. You're not helping the car behind. You're not giving them a warning. But because you know brake lights are signals to warn others, to help others, now you're going to use it. If you don't know, you're not going to use it. Even though you know red light comes on when I'm braking, but you don't know that's a signal. You don't know that's to help others, especially for the, especially the cars behind. So if there's a problem ahead, maybe you need to stop over there, maybe you need to slow down for some reason, the first thing you do is look at the mirror, and then what do you do? You cover the brake and you touch the brake or you brake gently gently first red light comes on you're helping the cars behind and then you are braking harder harder and then release at the end and then put it back on again to get good braking okay okay so you as a driver you as a learner you need to know you need to understand you need to have that knowledge of the brake lights as a signal just knowing the red light comes on is not enough. You need to have the knowledge of knowing that brake lights are signals to the car behind. This is the reason why it's there. Otherwise, you don't need the red light. You could just brake. There's no light. You're slowing down anyway. The lights are there for you to use. Lights are there so the car behind knows that you are slowing down. You are stopping. Otherwise, it's no point having those lights. So I just wanted to remind you that that brake lights are a signal to help others, to warn others that there is a problem that I need to slow or I need to stop. If you know it, you will use it. And I hope after this video, it helps you to understand and have the knowledge of brake lights as a signal. Now, just to clarify, here we're not talking about emergency stop. I don't want you to get confused between normal braking and emergency stop braking. Here we are talking about we use the brake light as a signal when we brake normally. So we help others by giving them a signal, which is the brake light. When you brake, when we brake in an emergency, we don't look at the mirror. We don't check the mirror. Our priority is to save the person or the thing in front. So if something happens and we need to stop the car in an emergency, we don't check the mirror. Our priority would be to stop the car there and there. So what we do, we just brake and we stop the car. So emergency stop, we're not talking about in this video. We are talking about general braking when we brake generally when we are driving. And I hope this video helps. If you need extra help on learning to drive and to pass the driving test, don't forget to take the advantage of our online course. It has everything a learner needs. The course has more than 30 videos in the course, giving you as a learner everything you need for you to learn to drive and for you to pass the driving test. All the knowledge you need, the course has. I will leave a link on the description for you to have a look. Have a look and see and read. If you like it, you could always join the course. And I hope this video helps. If it does, please do give a thumbs up. Please do make a comment what you think of the video. And if you are new to the, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now.